practice and this week we're going to talk about double kick snare syncopation. So on this beat, as you can see on the screen, you've got constant 16th notes, the entire measure played on the kick drum. 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a. On the snare you're going to play a syncopated beat. And I'll click that on the sticks. 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 and Play it again. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 and. So if you played double kick for any length of time, you probably played this or at least heard it. Uh, it's pretty common. I think I heard Tommy Aldrich play it on a, the, his video uh, Double Bass Drum Workout, which I got back in the 80s. So uh, it's a pretty common beat. You can do a lot of variations on it. Uh, but it's a good beat to know and master. Not that I've done it, but uh, I'll give it a shot here. So we've got 16th notes on the kick drum, 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. We're going to play the ride cymbal on 8th notes on the ride cymbal, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. And the snare is going to play the syncopated beat, 1 and 2 and 3 and a 4 and. So we'll put it all together. You can vary that up a bit, you know, put, play some doubles on the ride cymbal, play, play the uh, syncopated beat on the snare and the crash cymbal at the same time. This week I received an email from Matt Wood who had a question. Uh, dear Darren, I have a question. Is there a way to make the bass pedal less slick when I play? Also, I have a problem of, problem of hitting my knuckles a lot on the rims of the snare and toms when coming down from the crash or going around the toms. Well, Matt, thanks a lot for your question. As far as the slick bass drum pedal, there is a product called Grip Peddler. It's, uh, you can see it at www.grippeddler.com. I've not tried it myself, but if someone else has tried it and want to if you want to leave a comment about it you can go to www.unirunner.com and uh, go to this podcast and leave a comment about grip peddlers if you've had good luck with it or not as far as hitting your knuckles on the drums I used to do that a lot when I first started playing the drums especially in high school marching band I'd get really excited playing the quads and uh, be kind of careless I think once I just started to relax and calm down and be more careful about my playing that would happen less and less. I know the more anxious and excited we get sometimes as drummers the more likely we are to injure ourselves. Uh, but also you might want to experiment with uh, the height and angle of your toms and snare drum too and see if that makes a difference. Thanks again for tuning into this podcast of Unirunner Video Drum Lessons. Until next time keep practicing and God bless. Yeah.